So you are responsible for so many investors and their decisions. It does look like we're going to have higher rates for longer. We can talk about how much longer. But how does that change potentially investment decisions at this point? You know, I'm going to go back to a narrative we've been talking about for quite a while. If you go back in the previous decade or we've had more than a decade long of you know, just rising markets and low interest rates, at that time we would talk about, hey, you should be thinking about inflation. At some point it's going to show up. By the way, you may want to have assets that are not correlated to each other in your portfolio because you may have more volatility. And by the way, rates eventually will rise. They go down over time, and it takes a while as they go back up, but they will start rising. That's why that narrative, which was one that was largely academic around alternatives and how do you get a better portfolio, better correlated assets, today it's not an academic discussion. It's an urgency. Right? The idea of having a 70-30 portfolio largely in index-type, passive-type funds that is a little bit more stressful in thinking about hitting your return targets over the long term. So